So last week you talked about Sun Simiao and one of the first things he established, which no one else had done before in relation to standard of virtue for Chinese medicine doctors. He, he did 21 more things that no one had done before. Do you want to keep talking about them now? Okay. Uh, Sun Simiao is uh, in the Tang Dynasty and people call him as uh, immortal. So uh, quite lots of uh, uh, records say he is uh, live for 141 years old. In those days, people live about 40 years old and died. But he, he lived so long, so, and, and then that's why he become a very example, very good examples for the health and the Chinese medicine. Um, so that's why they, he has about there many uh, inventions uh, in his life. He's uh, like a um, genius. From seven years old, he already know 3,000 Chinese uh, characters. Um, so and now on the 20 years old, he already uh, read and understand Lao Zi and Zhuang Zi and then lots of the Taoist mm. classical books. Um, and then he, he knows the Taoist philosophies. So um, that's why he is the, um, uh, he's the one um, treat lots of patients and then gets a super good results. Even the um, uh, governor uh, want to him to become an advisor uh, in, into the, uh, you know, the official, like uh, into the royal family, but he uh, refused. He would rather to be a doctor for the common people. So that's why um, last time we mentioned that he, he created very virtual uh, series to doctors. So that's what I want to say the, uh, the first one he created in Chinese history. Uh -huh. Very complete series about what is virtue. Um, for the for the doctors, so what you need to do, how to uh, and diagnose people in which kind of a state, what your mind should be, and uh, and now uh, that's what we already talking before. Um, but I want to mention that he also create the virtual series for patients. Mm. <laughs> so, so it's not only for doctor for patients. They also said. Um, Look, if he, you don't really want to sick and die earlier, so that's why uh, you need to understand what calls call call as life. And so he was very um, detailed describe. You see, uh, you see, he said that when you hear the um, the drop, because in ancient time, um, this the ancient scientist make the time count, uh, counting is uh, through the water drop. Mm. Uh -huh. so, so that's why they, they count like a water drop once as one, uh, one second. So therefore, you know, through the water drop, he just uh, count said, look, uh, everybody in their whole life, the only because they, he is very emphasized about the uh, protect your yourself become ill means you need a young sheng, you know take care of your house and it's like a full time for house so it's like you need to follow the sun the moon and and their nature so that's why he he teach people said look if they yeah, if they presume you are going to live for 90 years old right assume you're living in that long so your whole life, you only breathe for um, uh, ten so, uh, uh, thirteen thousand and then five hundred times. Mm. Uh -huh. Because breathing in and out is yin yang, as a show you're still alive. So that's why in the Taoist, 
So what is your fundamental uh, uh, life signal is that you're still breathing. But of course, if you're immortal, you don't need breathe. <laughs> you're still alive. <laughs> or your, breath, your breathing is very nice. You're still, uh, it's like lots of yoga. But he's talking to uh, ordinary general people. Mm. So that's why he starts telling people, said, you know, you need to be careful. If they're accounting about the sun and the moon and the universe, stay that long so human life is very very short mm. now so how can you um keep your life healthy and then make your life much more um, well uh, valuable so that's why don't um destroy your your meaning of your life by overdoing things. So that's why he is the doctor as very much tell the people's detail how to keep your uh, emotion healthy uh, and uh, harmonious and uh, peaceful, not uh, uh, to have uh, too much desire <laughs> to destroy your life. So that's why he said, yeah, desires is needed, emotions needed, but you always, uh, um, um, treat them and then managing them as the way you are life become a um, kind of a not damage your 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 life is healthy not damage the the organs because he that teaching people in the huang di nei jing they said right if you're not managing your emotion like you're over angry and uh, you're 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 over kind of a eat or sleep late so those are kind of like access and accessory about the emotion and that will be directly hurt your internal organs mm. so and then that's why they said if you uh, take care of your health it looks like for you but because when the people much more respect the nature following the nature rhythms so and then your body healthy when your body healthy you take care of the plants and uh, and you know on the environment on the air because you're not over over destroy uh, destroy that so that's why that will be directly affected you can help re uh, reduce the disaster of in the nature so that means you're not create disaster yourself but also you reduce the disaster of nature. Uh -huh. Because uh, for example, if they, you overuse your energy, so he, he referenced quite a lot about the people all over the sexual design, so their jing lis release the too much and then they get tired and then they get cold. So that's why they need more herbs, so they need more uh, energy. So that's one of the reasons that's why they burn out the energy on the environment. So he, he had been, um, the, the first one had been uh, used quite lots of a chapter and then to, to describe how to um, protect yourself and not get sick. Oh, that means uh, your, your virtue uh, also to start from yourself for for general people, for patients. Uh -huh. yeah. So that, yeah, so that's why he is the doctor. He uses so, uh, so much energy and then to do the teaching <laughs> for prevent disease happened. So, um, so that's why the second part, that's the first part is the virtue is not only about the setup of very systematic for doctor and also for patient. The second part, he had a very huge um, medical encyclopedia uh, works. Uh -huh. yeah. So that works um, is about 30, 30 books. Mm -hmm. 30 books is called um, Solden's Gold Prescription. Thousand gold prescription. Yes. Mm. Uh -huh. <laughs> so that's that that book. It was amazingly um, covered uh, many things about the, you know qigong and the breathing exercise, uh, um, how to uh, keep your health 
um, by selecting your house and the feng shui <laughs> and uh, and how to uh, plant the herbs, plant the vegetables, and how to uh, keep your um, your you know like a husband and wife relationship into harmonious, in, including about how to do the washing. Mm. And you know that the washing means you, you take a shower or bathing and one and then which date? The date is according to the um uh you know either Sunday, Monday or you know is is because of Chinese uh um medicine and you know count counting the date according to the uh you uh, heaven heaven uh, the brown, uh, uh, heaven um uh, what they called a uh, heaven and earth mm. uh, the stars so and then that's one of the reason so he he is a reference those stars position affected to your body so and then there's a deep knowledge about that so that's why when what time you should take a shower what time you 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 shouldn't wash your your head <laughs> and also the husband and wife are not supposed to be washing on the same day and and in a great detail <laughs> it was amazing kind of like a, a very rich uh, knowledge about the yeah, so how uh, how to dealing with uh, your daily life in great detail so it's not just as uh, my mind i love the human i love the nature but his uh, his uh, bring the you know the uh, practicality cosmos and, yeah and I have a, a great kind of a detail to tell you according to the heaven energy and the earth and energy, this kind of a day you need to do that. Uh -huh. So and avoid the, the harm energy to you. So, so that's why the, his, his book is a, have a big influence. In this book, he, uh, he had the... Um, um, the medicine uh, remedies for uh, for people, uh, who, we still use that. For example, uh, the happy wonder. For uh, for people have um, a liver problem, liver stagnation. Um, I use that that herbs quite a lot in the past because when the people depressed and have a skin problem and cannot sleep. Uh, either angry or or uh, or very um, um, kind of like depressed. So the the really the signal is if their tongue is very dark. Mm. Uh -huh. For example, when we're in the clinic, there's a lady come. They have a lots of skin problem. He, she told me she cannot sleep, and I look at the tongue. The tongue is really blue dark. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not red. So, um, and I said, and I was diagnosed, uh, this is very, very typical uh, liver stagnation. Uh -huh. and, and then, so I gave the, uh, this kind of call, happy wonder <laughs> remedies. And uh, next time when she come to me, said, huh, is that a herbs? is a sleeping pill because <laughs> I, <don't>, huh? <laughs> I never know <laughs> so she said oh, it's amazing when they would take the herbs i can sleep much better because uh, she said i wake up on the one o'clock and two o'clock and the three o'clock and then in the middle of night i have to wandering and make tea i couldn't sleep but when she was took that uh, herbs she can sleep much better uh -huh. to clarify is this she xiao yao sen yeah, Xiao Yao San. Oh, okay. Oh, that's right, Xiao Yao San. <laughs> I, I remember, you know, the English uh, uh, translate called the Happy Wonder. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty easy, I think. Uh, so, um, and also, she showed me her skin. And then she, her skin is getting cleared as well. So, and, and I said, that was really amazing. Because in the Chinese medicine, they, and because the liver uh, stagnant, they, they make the, the blood uh, flow as much slow. So that's why they produce a lot of uh, um, toxic 
So that's one of the reasons the toxic cannot get out from the body. That's why the skin and have a trouble. And also her, her shin has the knee. So why they call it called the happy wonder, Xiao Yao San? It's like when you take that herbs, you start to feel more happy or relaxed. Oh, it's very nice. <laughs> uh, so that's the Sun Sun Miao's prescription. Wow. Uh, uh, he creates that kind of um, uh, remedies. Or prescription. So I'm just give you the one ex examples. There's many other examples. So okay, that's a, uh, that's uh, that's why his uh, southern gold uh, prescription have a deep influence about the um, lots of Chinese medicine medical uh, practitioners because it it was you know even till now. They are ancient herbs, and then still so efficient. Uh -huh. You can see that that, that was uh, you know uh, one thousand five hundred years ago. <laughs> yeah, so uh, it's not like a lot of uh, modern modern medicine, and then they use about twenty years. Oh, now there's new new drugs because all the drugs damage the kidney and the liver, and then there's something come new, and then another twenty years. Oh, I have new. So that's why they're they're very very little, you know, and of course penicillin. As a, like a antibiotic that still works, mm -hmm. but even the works, there's so many people get uh, kind of um, um, find that their effect uh, effect has been reduced because people the body that you know the um, the very not very the the bacterial the exercise they start to know how to fight the antibiotics. <laughs> but you know, the, the ancient doctor, you know, like uh, Sun Simiao. Sun Simiao, you know, people called him immortal. So that's why he connecting with the heaven and, you know, sun and the moon. So that's why the laws of um, medicine he was made, it was uh, still very, very powerful now. Uh -huh. I, 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 you know, there's many other herbs as well. So, I, okay, that is the, the second one. The third one, um, he is the one to set up um, uh, the children's uh, disease uh, kind of uh, uh, system. Because it used to be, you know, and the people treat everybody the same, but he is that... Uh, and describe a children have a children's specific uh, kind of a character. So how to deal with uh, the children's. So that's why he, he set up that kind of like a, a children's section about how to use the Chinese medicine to handle children's disease. So that's the, the children's their health or disease. The fourth one is the, uh, he is the first the leprosy uh, Chinese medicine doctor to um, really describe how to deal with that disease. Mm -hmm. um, so the fifth one is uh, he create um, the method uh, to measure the acupuncture point uh, as a simplified way by use the fingers lens uh -huh. and then to to measure as so one chun, two chun, so use the fingers and um, before you know you you have to you know they said uh, how far you know and then there's a leg in the middle and whatever you have to find but he developed um, that's the uh, the way how to select the point by using the fingers so the sixth one is uh, he did um, draw the colorful picture <clears throat> about the um, human body mm. with meridians. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's um, in the ancient time, they're always black white. You may see lots of Taoist book. <laughs> the pictures are all black white. <laughs> so he's the first one did as the colors picture. So the seventh one is um, 
uh, the beauty therapies. You know, in the uh, royal family, emperor, uh, emperor family, you know, their wife and the concubines, so they're all kind of very take care of after how to make them beauty, <laughs> on a beauty therapist. So he is to uh, make sure that beauty therapists uh, start uh, bro uh, broadcast or to uh, introduce into ordinary people. Mm -hmm. It's not only for, you know, uh, the hierarchy. Uh, so that's why he's the doctor very much, you know, put the, 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 um, the people in their heart and not just only serve a hierarchy. Um, the eighth one is he create the ash point. Mm. Uh, um, I'm sure before him, the people already uh, used the ash point, but he's pinned down. So that's why they call ash point. You know ash point. So you press on the point. It's like, ah, it's painful. I said, she means yes, that's the right point. <laughs> I call ash point. So the, uh, the ninth is uh, he expand extraordinary point. And also select that the more extraordinary point into acupuncture um, collecting book books. Uh, and also the number 10, he is uh, used not just um, simple prescription. He is, uh, he is used much more, um, you know, the um, multi-prescription -pres to treat disease. Mm -hmm. Are you talking about multiple herbs or multiple like acupuncture and herbs? Um, multiple herbs. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. To treat disease. Uh, the 11th uh, one is um, his uh, uh, also use um, multiple uh, herbs for treating their external disease. It's uh, like uh, injuries and uh, skin disease and also, you know, uh, like, you know, whatever the external used. Uh, and then the number 12, so he said he used the herbs to feed cow. <laughs> cow and, uh, you know, cows <laughs> and the sheep, all those kind of uh, um, animals. Yeah. And also, also start to use the cow milk uh, for treatment. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And the number 13, he is um, much more uh, getting together about the uh, acupuncture and the herbs for health care mm. rather than treatment. Uh -huh. And normally people's health care said, okay, doing the exercise. <laughs> and, I, and only when you have a disease, so you said, okay, moxa, uh, okay, and, and then needles. But for him, he's just said, oh, even you haven't got disease. For example, like before, the pandemic. So if he like uh, if he predicted pandemics that come, so he could say, okay, now to prevent that, so we probably take some herbs together, mm. and then you will strengthen yourself. So that's why he's much more uh, use uh, acupuncture and the herbs for health care, uh -huh, which, and the the fourteenth is. Uh, he is very systematically to describe in detail how to uh, plant the herbs and how to pick up herbs uh, and how to process herbs. Mm. Mm -hmm. So that's why in, you can see he have uh, you know, 30 big books. So now some of them that he described and teach you how to do the herbs uh -huh, in, in the detail. So the the fifty one fifteen one he's uh, he's the first one to bring the wild herbs uh, into the cultivate uh, into the kind of a, um, um, you know you can plant into your garden whatever mm. rather than growing on the outside. 
so on uh, he starts um, <clears throat> um, like uh, to teach them and also use that you know, since then so people knowing all oh, because otherwise <laughs> you know sometimes human, human beings are okay we have to wait that herbs in the world all go outside looking for if I hadn't picked up so, oh it's bad luck I didn't I didn't find the herbs so he said well you find the seeds you can plant <laughs> in your garden or in the, in the in the land and you find a way how to yeah so uh -huh, that's the way and on the 16 uh he is um uh he's the first one to uh, process uh, Romania Romania you know oh, Romania thank I you Romania <laughs> Romania yeah Romania so because Romania is a very very powerful herbs for um, nourishing the kidney but because if you don't know how to process properly and they have a toxic uh -huh. so that's why he is um, uh, through his uh, um, the description. So that's why uh, this herbs has been really, really large quantity widely used, and also is is brilliant effect. Like um, like people uh, normally we see quite often people uh, had the, um, uh, uh, hot flash, for example. Hot flash, um, backache, um, and or kidney sore, or bleeding, and then a sweat, a nice sweat, and <laughs> and uh, eyes watering, and also tinnitus, and lose the hair, uh -huh. and uh, and and uh, all of this kind of a syndrome together is like a palm hot, and uh, hot, and also the um, the feet feel hot. And then feel like uh, inner, like um, really like uh, irritating hot. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So those are all we call uh, kidney indeficiency. So this this herbs really can help to to the indeficiency, make the kidney yin stronger. When the people take that uh, herbs. They find mm, they calm down, you know, they're not sweat and then they're not irritating. They can sleep deep uh -huh, and then their tinnitus get better. So that's, that is really benefit for him and to, for the process, how to get the, the toxic and then to be able to use their best for mm -hmm. that herbs. Mm -hmm. So the, the number six, uh, 17 is uh, he has also start to use the powder of the placenta. 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 Yeah. Placenta. Placenta. Placenta uh, make us the powder to treating the disease. Uh -huh. um, on number 18, he, he, he starts to use um, the liver of the animal to treat the eyes disease. Mm. Mm -hmm. And then 19, and then he's um, uh, used the barker, barker, you know, the, um, uh, you know, the skin of the, of the trees. A bark, yeah. A bark, sorry, a bark <laughs> to, you know, boiling them and cook them, make us a porridge to treat uh, cinnamon, C cinnamon, no, the, the, no, and the, the barberry, you know, the, the disease, lack oh, of the bit. Berry, berry, yeah, thiamine deficiency, berry, berry, berry. Ah, oh, salmon, salmon deficiency. For as I know, the people who had the symptoms, the skin, the peeling on the feet, and then get itchy and then very um, uncomfortable. So um, he, he kind of like uh, document that he used the bark, bark of the uh, um, boiling it um, and then to make the soup, mm. uh, boiling it as a soup and also make the porridge to, to, uh, to get rid of the disease. And this method 
um, has it it is earlier than European doctor to treat this similar disease in Europe, and so one thousand years earlier. Mm. <laughs> so the number twenty is use uh, uh, re relate yeah? to treat oh, malaria. Uh, relica. <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> relica, relica, and then to treat the malaria. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's, that's also in the the uh, human history. That's the first time. Um, so and on the twenty first, so he is um, very much uh, uh, teach people to you know for prevent disease. He tell the people um, to eat less, but uh, more times in a day. Mm. You know, normally we eat uh, three meals, right? Uh -huh. mm. um, and then some of the <laughs> American people I met, they only eat one meal a day. Um, not morning, not lunch, and then in the evening, and a large quantity. So this man, um, when he told me, <laughs> I, I forgot in which section that I met him, he's huge. Uh -huh. And and then he's... he's I'm sure that, you know he's much much heavier, but he 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 said I'm full of energy and <laughs> I only one meal, <laughs> eat one meal. But Susan also mentioned said for your health, um, good health, you better eat not too much, but eat more often. Mm -hmm. um, so on the twenty second, he is create. The, uh, the technique, the method called cauterization. Cauterization. Hmm. Cauterization. <laughs> right? <laughs> okay, please say your, your English much no, better correct. than me. Yeah, so, um, so that is uh, at the 22, his, his amazing, the first one people list he has been created in the history. Um, I could be wrong, all right, but, um, <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, uh, those, those is very impressed because uh, he's the doctor uh, which is, uh, have a such a, um, really wonderful virtue, uh -huh. and the virtue of himself, but also he described for doctor, for the other people, and then he's um, he's like a very vividly, and then tell people the wisdom of the heaven and earth, and then sun and the moon. So he teach about the cycles and uh, how to uh, to make sure you you take care of yourself. <clears throat> for example, I just gave people very practical sense. He's talking about the. Um, uh, about washing, he said, um, you, when you are living at home, you're not going outside. You make sure you uh, don't eat, don't wash every day. <laughs> and I said, uh, please do not washing your head and then your body too much. Um, if you really want to wash, take a shower or, or, or bath, so you need to in the very um, uh, close your windows in the very secret the room to do it. Um, um, make sure the the temperature of your water, but the um, the um, temperature on the air not too high, but not too low. Um, otherwise, they will cause a disease. When you wash in the winter, so. Uh, you make sure you're not uh, sweat. Mm -hmm. um, and then also after wash, uh, don't contact on the cold wind. So when you uh, wash your hair, um, so you make sure you, you don't uh, blow the wind to your hair. 
My goodness me, you, now a new, in the modern world, everybody start blowing, <laughs> the wind blowing their, in their hair. So I'm just, okay, uh, actually I'm reading the original, uh, his book, to just give them, because he's an ancient language, that's the translation. I just give you some taste, uh, how detailed he could be. Um, so when your hair not uh, dry, because you know, in in the ancient time, even the men have long long hair. So they they you know like the Taoists that they, they put them together, huh? Mm. So that said, when what they called? Oh, a man bun. Oh, man bun. <laughs> okay. They said when when your hair not dry, and um, please don't put the, the men on the hair together. And also, when your hair not dry, please do not sleep. But if uh, your hair is um, uh, is damp when you sleep, you very easily get wind in your head and it causes you dizzy and then your face gets dark and then you lose your hair, your tinnitus, and also even your hair gets white. Mm. Mm -hmm. So um, forbidden your washing when you are very hungry. And after you eat a full stomach, don't wash your uh, don't wash your your head. Um, after you're washing your body, you need to eat a little bit stuff, uh, drink water. In the evening or night, after you're washing your your hair, so please do not eat. Oh, sorry. They said if you don't eat a little bit. And then you go to sleep, um, and that will make your suffering, your heart tea weak. If and, you don't eat before you go to bed. Oh, if you don't, if you wash in the night, mm. and then you don't eat anything, mm. and then you immediately sleep, and then they are called heart tea deficiency. Mm, interesting. Uh -huh. And also we'll cause the sweat and the more dream. Mm. I know, um, just before you continue, because I know some of this stuff is um, maybe known for Chinese medicine doctors, but just for the common person who hasn't heard this before, like mm -hmm. having your hair wet and um, those kind of things, can you explain why? Yeah, because... <clears throat> When you when you wash your hair, you definitely use your warm or hot water. So, on your head, on your head, your skin and then the root of the on the hair is open. And when they're damp, they have uh, water in it. So as soon as you sleep, your yang qi withdraw in your body. So yang qi not protect your your skin to ask the soldier to uh, to against the you know the cold air or bad xie qi you know mm. you know pathogenic qi coming in. Your pores become open when you use hot water. Yes, and yeah. when you wash, yeah. and then when they're not dry, so that's why they're not close enough, and also the dampness and the coldness coming into your your body. Mm. Thank you. Uh huh. Okay, so, um, and also they mentioned that the uh, husband and the wife, the couple, better not washing at the same day. Oh. Uh huh. Um, ideal to wash the wash uh, your body on the end of the month, and then wash your hair, 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 and then your head on the beginning of the month. So does that mean you only wash once a month? <laughs> well, he doesn't say only once a month, but he said if you stay in, at home, you're not going out, you're not that dirty, you don't need washing every day. Oh. But in the, yeah, in the ancient time, I'm sure, in ancient time, the air much clean. The, the air is much more clean and the, uh, the environment is better. 
So that's why it, it doesn't need the washing that much. So, well, I'm talking about 1,500 years ago, right? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, um, so we we still can be as a reference, but of course now you know, people said, "Why if I don't wash it every day, I'm smiley." So you can see there's so much pollution. <laughs> um, but I'm just tell you the the classical books, right? And yeah. also they said you you make sure the water is clean. If it is the bad water, and and then your skin will, um, you know, when you're washing your face, your skin they will they will lose the the skin, the shining part, and then cause the um, the dampness disease. So and then um, that's why you you make sure when you were uh, washing, don't use the cold water, otherwise, and they will cause the you know, the headache, especially when they have an epidemic disease, or after you have a high temperature, you had a, a sweat, you, you, you should not use the cold water to wash. Mm. The sweat is the same, like uh, there. Because sometimes people say, oh, you sweat, and then put some water in and, and then try to dry you up. And then because people don't understand that, uh, the reason that would they were doing this. Yeah, that's very important because cold showers are finally starting to sweep across the world now because of their benefits to the immune system. But it's important because if people don't understand when to use cold showers, then it can cause the opposite effect, huh? Yeah, exactly. You need your chi very strong in the morning or you're doing some exercise, have a cold shower and then also quickly dry them to make sure your your blood circulation well. And that's said. If you you're use hot water, your pores open, you use cold water, and, and then that will very easy to cause the pericardium disease. Mm. Means, you know, the, um, the meridians around your heart and cause the disease. That means you're very easy to cause the heart disease. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. So, right. I'm sure in the Northern Europe, people want to have very, very hot water and then very, very cold water, <laughs> you know, like doing that. If you are very strong, your blood is really can push out, you use cold water to shut down your, uh, your skin, your system. Only when you're very, very healthy, uh -huh, you do that. Especially when you shut down, you need to immediately do some exercise, may, maybe drink some ginger water and then push the cold out. Otherwise, they were coming in to cause the another disease. Mm. So, well, just give her some taste like this about the washing because I feel like people uh, do wash a lot uh, in, in the world, especially when the people are sick or they have a high temperature, you know, even in the Western hospital, they put the cold kind of a damp um, cloth and, uh, on their head. Actually, that could be because people in the future have lots of headache without knowing it's because caused by this. Mm. Mm -hmm. Right. So um, I just want to mention that the, the, the last one is very interesting about, uh, he said, uh, uh, for people who want to really keep good health is because your heart and your virtual high. So uh, you need to be honest and then you need to be uh, heart open and also do good things but not uh, doing bad things when you were try to hide it. Because uh -huh. lots of people say, no, I do it, nobody said it. You know what he said? So every word, every action you do is under, um, under the eyes of the deity. Yeah. In the white people are like, like uh, under the God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got uh, like a uh, you know divine. I said, don't think you're 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 quietly talk some something and they make kind of a trick. Um, they they don't know because they can hear that very clearly. So, um, so if you're doing the, the bad sense, 
eventually, um, and then you will get the karmic reaction, react. So even in his medical book, he mentioned that. So he said, if you're quietly, um, you know, hide, doing good things, because you're not broadcasting, I'm doing that, I'm helping that, you're just quietly helping people. They said, they also said, and, and then they will, they will give you a very, very good reward sometimes, <laughs> because they, they, they also said. So, um, so they said, if the people doing good things in front of the people, and then they are, the people will, re, uh, will be rewarding them because they will thank them and then give the gift or whatever. They said, if you're doing things, quietly doing good things, people don't know. They said, the divine gave you a rewarding. So they said, don't try to lie mm. to the upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> to the upstairs. They said, everybody have a shadow and then you know you are in, in, uh, standing in between the heaven and the earth. The heaven spirit and the earth spirit they all be with you. And then they all know what you're doing. So they just said, so uh, be careful. Uh -huh. And keep your eyes uh, on your thoughts and what you're doing. And if you're doing that, you have a much high virtue. Your life is much more healthy. And, and then you will create the very good luck and then for your children and for your family. <laughs> That's great. Okay. So, um, so that's why this doctor is not just uh, the um, uh, modern society called the physician. As a physician, is just uh, treating the physical disease. He's, he's much more care about the uh, people's soul and the virtue and the heart. And also he's uh, clearly described what your mind, your heart, and then your soul doing actually affected your health. Mm -hmm. mm. Well, and hopefully my introduction about the Sun Smil, and then because he's, he's, he had so much about the contribution to the, um, to the society, I'm just a list about all those. And then he has a lot of stories. I think today we covered quite a lot. Yeah. And if, we, uh, if you are still interested and if you want to ask any questions, please ask. Mm -hmm. You're talking to me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, there's so much stuff there to um, get into, but one of the things is very interesting you first mentioned where he connected people's virtue to what was happening in the outside world. So do you think that because people um, may be lacking in virtue and lacking in chi, energy, that that's actually one of the reasons why they have so much desires to get a fast car or buy a house or get a good-looking girlfriend? Is, are they connected? Um, yes. Um, well, so that is correct because he is much more said, um, because he said that our human, we design, we have an emotion, we have a desire. If we don't have a desire, we are not alive. But we just need to be, take care of our desire, not over desire. Mm. and not uh, over uh, relying on the material. And also, uh, that is the, uh, the, the true teaching. Because like when your heart open, you feel the others, but you're acting on that. It's not just about the, the material and then get uh, the car and then, and then oh, of course, you no know, beautiful, beautiful girl is beautiful since everybody like it. Yes. That's uh, fine. Yeah, that's fine. But if you you are over ex, uh, excessively and then disturbing your shin. Uh -huh. So that is also some people just to forget it and, and then they take, uh, you, know, the, um, you know, the other people's girlfriend and fight for that and all of that and then cause a lot of uh, 
complex. So that is the uh, uh, part of the, the uh, disease, this disease. Why we said the disease is the disease is because you, um, from the deeply within yourself, if you can truly and to deal with what you need, uh -huh. and then you will be very peaceful. That's why I hardly to get disease. But now the society has too much desire. And based on the, you know, on the measure about how much material, how much the big car, how much kind of money you have got. So that's why you can see why the pandemic is so big. Uh -huh. It's a global di disease.